I find the very concept of this video kind of funny because I have kind of always said I don't really like uh, Cramboss. And that is not to diss like its design, its design is cool. It's kind of the way it has to play. It has a very unique ability where it can eat stat boosts and is really good for stopping setup sweepers. But I was thinking to myself, okay, what's a fun challenge? Because listen, let's be honest, people only care about crime boss sometimes because it has battle chime plus six attack in one turn is kind of awesome. So that's what we're going to be kind of doing today. I need to fix this. It's not balanced at all. There we go. But basically, the idea for today is I need to get a 5 0 with Cram Boss. We're going to Battle Chime, and then we are going to just win. Hopefully. Everything else on my team is here to support it. Hypnotize, dissipate. Enchantments, dissipate. Um, Barb's Baffle, this is mostly here, so then I can just. Trade Shackles off to the Boots user. Um, Staller and Pivoter that you can also get rid of items. And uh, Paralyzer. That's the idea for today. If we can get rid of that Boots user, we're looking solid. And then we just need to set up our enchantments and we'll be in the blue. That that That's our goal for today. <laughs> but yeah, um, if it works out, let's find out. But I want to try to get this to work. I would do like the video ends when this happens, but I feel like it's going to take a long time. But maybe if it doesn't take too long, I'll say the video ends. You'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. <sighs> All right. Uh, okay, the Brutes user is wrestling. Um, we need to be careful of the Glossadia. I do not think that very nimble Cranboss outspeeds it. The only damage cocks we need is Cranboss because the thing is... Um, our only goal is to win the game with the with the cram boss, right? Glossadia's 200, Nimble is 177, ours is 174, so that's kind of tragic. We don't outspeed it. Bring this. Um, we don't outspeed the Hunter either. Yeah, this is not too great because there's not a lot of things we can actually outspeed. We're gonna need to keep. I don't. I don't actually think I can do it because of the hunter specifically and the wrestling. Maybe I can put the wrestling or hunter to sleep, and then we're looking good. Um, one problem here is that that little guy right there. Figure it out though. And there's a tundra in, so we can't actually. Oh man, this battle sucks for this little strat I wanted to do. Let's do this. And if if they have Hunter, who knows? Okay. Um, the thing is, I can choose to literally immediately hinder this, so then Cramboss can pop off. But then I struggle a lot against the Hunter. Um, there's literally no way for me to get the kill with unless I baffled it and it stayed in for some reason. I'm gonna immediately do this actually. I'm gonna no. I'm act, I'm just dead. That's the thing. He's just gonna rogue assault. Actually, frost punch is stronger. So, oh, it's brawler essence. That's not good. That's an ace boosted driving force. Okay. Um. Good start. Well, at least the wrestling is slow. <laughs> Can't ask for much more. Okay. So we know that we have speed wrestling, so we know that we can kill it with a gnarly gash. I hope we are at plus six, so let's just give it vice jaws. I know that it would kill that. Ice hammer can one shot the glossadia. Gnarly gash, one hundred percent one shots it. Yep. Tundralin's a terrible switch because we can just hypnotize. Hmm. I I will break sleep clots if I have to. By the way. I want this to work, I think it'd be cool, um, but I will break Sleep Plus if I have to. Now the goal, I can still do damage with my Lumians, I just can't kill them, right? That's the goal. So Cranboss is very quick, it outspeeds, let's see how actually how much it outspeeds. It can outspeed anything under 108 speed. Speed ties with 109 if it's nimble. 
As they're into... There it is. Okay, okay. Um, we're hypnotizing this. If we hypnotize this action... No, one problem I'm having is I can't... I don't think I one-shot the Tundralin. I do not think that I one-shot the Tundralin. Oh, it's a roll. It's a, oh my god, it's a 50-50 chance. Oh, that's evil. That is a 50-50. If I hit hypnotize, that is. I need to hit this. I think I actually get another attempt, but I won't be able to hypnotize. That's the problem. I need to actually hit this hypno here. And then we might be in the clear. Okay, so we dissipate. No, we can't even battle chime on the hunter. That's the problem. We need to force the hunter out. So I'm going to go straight into this and force it out and then start barbing. That works too, as they're now into Tundralin. Um... If I went Cram Boss immediately, I could battle time, then go for the roll. Let's just start, start barbing. <laughs> My way to kill this is literally the Cram Boss, by the way. I don't have any other w way to kill this. Not Cram Boss. Yeah, it, it is Cram Boss, yeah. Well, now we guarantee one shot of the Tundralin. So we're going to go right back into the Cosmior. And try to go for a Psycho Blast if we can. But... Maybe dissipates the play. If we dissipate and they go into Hunter, I get to Battle Chime. And then I win the game, I think. I think. There's no way it's going to work on the first try, right? I doubt it, but... Okay. Are they going to Gust? Wait, isn't this, like, perfect? Just don't get a speed boost. Yeah, just don't, just don't get that. Wait, I'm Ravenous! I can just eat him! I can eat all his stat boosts. I'm just gonna eat them. And actually, this is a very unique situation where I don't battle chime immediately. And I actually go for the hit first. Because then I, I can get rid of the stat boosts. Because they also might mud spatter. I just want to get rid of the stat boosts. Right? If they go tundra in. This has only been asleep for one turn. That's the thing. But this actually... This is only been asleep for one turn. So I can battle chime here. Okay. There's our milkshake. Okay. <laughs> did, did this just, is this gonna work first try? Okay, that's kill number one. That is kill number one. Is this gonna work first try? Oh no. Um, I can rest at any point on the hunter, so I'm just gonna ice hammer. The reason I can rest on hunter is because it's gonna be asleep for guaranteed two turns. <laughs> Even though this dodges, oh, what if it's wrestling? Then I can't rest, and then I lose. Oh, it would be wrestling if it comes in now, huh? Yeah, it's totally gonna be wrestling. But then I just... Vice Jaws, right? Um... Vice Jaws does a lot to it. A lot. And we're gonna have hazards up. Is it Hunter? Was this the right play? Would this have been the right play, though? I'm curious. Yes, it was the right play if it was to happen. Okay. This this is cooking. Now we rest, because this is going to be guaranteed to sleep for two turns. Unless it wakes up. Then that'd be horrible. Now this is going to be sleep for two turns, because I hit it with the sleep, and then they switch out instead of getting a turn of sleep. Gnarly Gash? Is this gonna work? It just I think it just worked first try. Yeah, it just worked first try, huh? Unless this is Draco Beam, like Draco Beam uh, Archaic Shell, then I die. Because this outspeeds me. 
so this is yeah this is still not over I do not know. Okay, anyway. Um, I guess it worked first try, so I don't even have to I don't even have to keep going, but we're gonna keep it up anyway. There are multiple potential boots users here. I'm I'm thinking that it's a ta top though, that one makes the most sense. Mmm. I don't exactly need this alive, right? Yeah, this should be fine. Though if I want to be safer against Nova, I bring this in the near immediately. I can't do damage with my Cleone though. Okay. I'm gonna start barbing. So I decided that today I'm gonna probably stop eating Sour Patch Kids because I had a bunch of them the um the other night, and they were like the two times big ones. So I wanted to. I, I, they were very good, but. Now the back of my throat is melted. It's not that big of it's it, it's healing, but citric acid is is more powerful than I suspected. So that's not happening, basically. <laughs> this guy thinks we're doing a Five Nights Tower Defense team. That's wild. Oh, there, if he lets me slap down here, actually. Will he? Okay. Frick, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Shoot! Wait! Crap! Crap! Oh, crap! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No no no! No 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 no! No 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 no! This is bad. This is very very bad. You might. This camera needs to be a bit lower. No one can see whenever I'm falling in my chair like this. Okay. Well, you see the problem now, right? Where I need to I need to get this kill. Okay, we got it. <laughs> the challenge is to get a, the kills, is to win with Cram Boss, the 5 0 with Cram Boss, right? That's the goal. And we're currently one. We got one kill. Yeah, Zulong coming in makes a lot of sense. Um, the problem is, okay, yes, I can go Weaseland. Yes, I can. My problem is um, if they are Boots, Gargolem, Attack right do i bank on the clutch plushie and then get my icicle traps up or i physically can't beat zulong in either way uh, i think i have to, i think i actually have to bank on the clutch plushie on the gargolem attack I, I actually have to barb again getting as many layers of barbs up as we can then we're gonna go for icicle traps if we end up dying which 100% we are interesting I'm still alive uh I guess tricky tactics there's no real reason to tricky tactics there okay now I am I have to go Cosmior wait Oh, wait, if they double E-burst, I go into Cram Boss and Battle Chime, and then we go for the win. The, the, the video is get every kill with Cram Boss. The one problem is with these three layers of barbs, I think Zulong... Zulong can only switch in one more time if I, when I get these up.
I hope the E burst makes sense. Okay. Dissipate. So we're hoping that he goes for another E burst. This is literally perfect scenario. Okay. We go for it now. We can't do much else. If it's if it's boots gar if it's boots uh, gargolem attack, we lost anyway because he one shots us with rogue, and it's it would just be over anyway. Just battle time. Okay, Let's see if this works out. So you know how the Halloween event for LL is coming on the 18th. Dark is coming out on the 17th. So very very freaking excited for next week. This week that's upcoming is literally a filler episode. It's, it's literally a filler episode that no one cares about. No one needs to know about. But they still include it in the show. Right? Okay, the camera is also like... It looks incorrect to me. Maybe the zoom is too far out. Let me, let me see if I can fix it real quick. I think I'm actually able to go and... I can go into properties real quick. Configure video. Camera control. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay, how are we looking? That's a little far. It's it's a little far. Maybe I can go back up a little bit. Like that. There we go. That's the angle. Alright, so unless this is boots, it doesn't outspeed us. So we get to Gnarligash here. Okay, we have two Vice Jaws left. And there are two things left that we can kill. Okay, um, I do not think that it can tank this even in Idio form. Idiosyncratic, no, it does not tank it. Even in Idiosyncratic, it does not. It would have to be max melee defense like Heavy Shield to tank that. All right, let's see if this fails. Did I? Oh, I didn't freaking apply the changes. Oops. Should have done that. That's the brightness. Oops. There we go. Okay. Shoot, I forgot to apply the changes. Apply. Okay, there we go. Here's Gargolem. He's a boots. We banked. Why is this working? I mean, I guess when you have an entire team devoted to making it win, then it'll work. Okay, can we get it a third time in a row? Very likely. Yeah, very, very, very. No! There's an Imperior! Frick! Oh no! Okay, no, 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 no. We absolutely require hazards. We need to get hazards up to get the Imperior low enough to where it does not. I don't know. Because we'll be at 75% of our health. We got 75% of our health, so we got 125 health after we battle chimes, something like that. We need the Weaseland to immediately barter the has the boots onto the Hunter. I don't think that we actually outspeed the. No, we don't outspeed the Rancidor. Oh, crap, we're gonna need to paralyze it with this. Um, this is really good into the Imperior, so we we can also like slowly chip away at it without having to worry. And then this. We can't beat the wind tricks, so let's do this. Hmm. Gloom. Okay, gloom this is interesting. Okay, shoot. Maybe I should just double barbed. I think double barbing was way better, but I need, I don't know. It's gonna be very tough. It's gonna be very, 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 very tough. I mean, it can't hit me with Gluminous with this, but I can't hit it back, but I do have Sap Plant. I also have this. This also works pretty well. Let's just throw out a Power Surge. This should not kill anything hopefully 
I love the speed tiering between Rancidor, Glissadia, and Plasma. Thinking about it now, I really like that. Okay, um, can you get charged arced? I don't think they're gonna get charged arced. Hmm. I want them to keep attacking me. Most definitely. Gamma. They look like they're power cuffs. I think they're power cuffs. Looking at the damage that they're doing and the energy that they're just taking from them. I think that they're power cuffs. They are really against the idea of me beating it, or just in general. Oh my god, this is annoying. And I physically can't get a charged arc proc. I physically can't. Holy crap. This is awful. I act actively cannot get a charged arc proc. <laughs> now they palm? Ugh. <sighs> Can I get a charged arc proc? Dude. Is this my charged arc one? Okay. We're gonna have to do this. We do get to see the ability activate though. If you guys care about that, we do get to see this ability activate. Our ravenous. We eat the stat boosts. That was risky, because what if I decided to battle chime on your on you giving up? Yeah, Ravenous, you remove the boosts and then you hit them. So even things that are that have a bunch of melee defense doesn't even matter. Perfect. Now this thing, Hunter is now completely useless. Perfect. Let's go for hazards. Hmm. Actually thinking about it, I don't know how I'm gonna beat this thing. I think I need to start getting chip. I don't think I can actually get this one. There's too much stuff I gotta deal with. What? What the heck? Quick pounce? That's crazy. That might have given me enough damage to kill. I'd have to look at a neutral cram boss into a hunter. Really attacker with gnarly gash. 47 is the max roll. I have to go lander's tree. And then I have to Briar Block. And then hopefully that's enough. I'm scared of Fade Away Killing. I'm scared of Fade Away Killing. I can't even Fade Away, actually. He's shackled. He's low enough to die, though. That's the thing. So he just needs to kill Lashen. Kill Lashen. What if he rests here? Fade away kills. I think he's gonna rest, though. I don't see any world where he doesn't. I don't see any world where he doesn't rest. This game is almost completely lost though. I think I have, no, even if he rests, I don't think I can, I need to battle chime somehow. He needs to kill this whenever he has no energy left. Maybe he blaze chomps. Yeah, I thought like there's no way, There's in no world does he does he do anything like that. Hmm. 
Maybe he switches out. He this guy does not like switching out. I've noticed he really hates it. It's one of his least favorite things. But I have set up enough for Cran Boss to win. I just need this Lashent to die. This Lashent just needs to die at this point. But I this is why we keep Blaze Chomp. He needs to kill me when he has no more moves. He has to do that. If, even if he doesn't, it's okay. It's okay if he doesn't. Oh, go for the kill. Go for get greedy, go for the kill. Go for the kill and go get greedy. Go for the kill. Please go for the kill. He did. Oh my god. Why did he do that? I don't know. Why did he do that? I have no idea. Okay! All up to Crime Boss now. It's all up to Cramboss. It got the kill in its Eclipse. We got about four moves left in our arsenal. Let's make them count. Let's make these moves count, man. <laughs> I think we get what? Two, two fifties and then one, or two fifties and then two Vice Jaws? Yeah. Oh, he's just letting me rest. Or wait, I mean, sick, okay. <laughs> I'm down because I, I I get exactly 90 energy back because a third of 270 is 90. Oh, if it's Wind Tricks actually, if it's Boots Wind Tricks, I think it's Joker. Right, they had this. No. Maybe I should have just gone for the kill and didn't get greedy because then maybe I live this hit. It, I don't have enough, right? I don't got enough health to tank all these poisons, right? If I killed Eclipse, I killed Hunter, I killed Rancidor. If they didn't bring Imperior. Because I took what? No, I took 20 damage, I think. No, I took 20 damage. No! No! I took 20 damage! No! No! <laughs> oh, if I just went for the kill on the hunter and didn't get greedy. I just had to go for the kill on hunter. And I think I was fine. No! Oh, sick! I got my mastery done! I can look for a gamma one now, dude. What a tragedy. That, that was- it was so close to three of- that working out- you know, maybe all the crap I say about Cranboss, it, it's- I think that it's not good unless it gets Battle Chime up. Like, in terms of, like, damage. It's really bad if it doesn't. But when it does, holy crap, it does a lot. <laughs> it, it does a lot. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. And yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!